Hey guys, and welcome back to Persona Q2! And in this episode, we're exploring the second avenue of Kamoshida Man. But before we get to that, I don't know about you, I'm in the mood for a little shopping spree. I mean, we kinda need it. Look at our clothes. We got mustard stains, we got holes in our socks. Oh my god, we... I think we owe this to ourselves before we most likely meet our demise. Cause god dang, this game is hard, yo! But, uh, you know, we'll be alright. So, before you do any shopping, it's always advised to sell your materials. Do not worry, there's really no downside to selling them. They're literally just here for that purpose, so... We can get a little amount of money for it, nothing too big, but... Now, we want to desperately buy some armor for our main party. You could get weapons, but honestly... Armor is what we need right now, especially on Ryuji. So we're gonna buy four of the Staff Sweaters. A fancy sweater that keeps out the cold. We're only gonna buy four of these because, um, Yusuke is very well insulated because he has Goemon as his persona. So we're gonna just get a couple of these, not for a whole party, and we'll talk about why that is a little bit later, but uh, highly recommended if there is new armor for your party to have, just go ahead and get that for everybody. Some items are gender locked, so you gotta keep that into consideration, but realistically, it'll be all right. So now that we got our new threads, let's get out of here and get to the labyrinth exploring. Come again, Nagi says. She's interesting. I I'm still not sure what to make of her. So sadly, we can't do anything in the velvet room. There isn't much else we can do other than explore the theater. But before we uh, step foot into what most likely will be our final resting place in this episode, I am betting that I will die, in all honesty. Um, we need to equip Joker with the Pixie Sub-Persona, because it's going to give him a tiny bit more HP and SP, which is definitely a good thing to have. Also, Pixie can level up when added as a Sub-Persona, so we want to get in on that as soon as possible. But now that we're done with that long intro, let's get back into the Labyrinth. Yeah. Well, now we figured out that weird mystery. Let's go look from Koto and Haru. Yeah, sounds good to me. Before that, Morgana, there's something I'd like to ask you. After we enter the movie, were you able to see us from your side of the screen? Yeah, you were definitely on screen. It was like you were just characters in the movie. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Oh, now that's fat. That's interesting. I'd like to see that from here as well. Hmm, however, there was one weird thing. What? Unless you all progress onward, the same scene in the movie would loop. Uh huh? It looked like the movie was on repeat. You guys moved on, the movie wouldn't progress. Essentially, we're developing the plot as if we were actors within it. This is a rather unprecedented creative activity. <laughs> yeah, it's also magic, that's probably why. Hey, Morgana, did you ever end up finding any clues here in the theater? Mm, no, I looked everywhere. But there isn't a single trace of Makoto or Haru. If we're gonna look for him, it'd be best we do it within the movie. So from here on out, I'm coming into the action! Uh, that's reassuring to hear, but will it really be okay to leave Futabi here by herself? She has a small army, I think she'll be okay. <laughs> she's a big girl, she can do it. Gosh, now y'all believe in her, but she's very capable. What? Is this a heartfelt confession of your trust in me? Kinda. Hey, come here for a sec. Uh, what up? When I bend down to Morgana, he whispered to me. When I was tailing Akari and Nagi, they didn't do anything suspicious. I don't think there would be any problem leaving Futaba with them. Okay, what about the other? <laughs> Elizabeth, don't fall for her tricks, Futaba. Don't you worry about me. I'll just hang out here with our new blue buds. Plus, if something bad happened out here, it'd be sucky if no one was around to report in on it. Yeah, good point. I'll take the navigation and service your contact on this end. Any objections? Nope, sounds good. Your assistance will be greatly appreciated. We'll all be relying on you. That's decided then. You're gonna go, kitty cat. Of course I am. Wait, would you call me? Uh, I've got some some serious skills myself, you know. <laughs> you might be able to fight, but <laughs> just sit back and watch. Right? We made it through thick and thin together. Oh boy, we have, man. <laughs> yeah, no need to worry about us. We got this, Akari. We've done this a couple times. Yeah what he said. All right, let's roll out. Okay, then you better first look over who's going to be doing the fighting. Uh, what? If you all fumble into a group, it'll be way easier for the enemy to find you. True. There's also our party formation to consider. 
with both front and back positions available to us. Members in the back line take less damage from enemies in the front. Yeah, that makes sense. So Morgana joins the team, and that sadly means Yusuke's gonna get bit. <laughs> I feel awful about this. I want to use like different characters, but no. They really want you to use Morgana on this second floor. That's all I can- I don't know what else to do, but you can have your reserve characters do follow-up attacks. So Yusuke will be popping in from time to time. So that's real nice. Let's, um, yeah, let's get rid of him. Uh, putting Morgana in the front line is not probably the best idea currently, but I'm gonna do it anyways, because I kind of want to challenge myself. On the bottom screen, you can see what type of character your party has. <laughs> In my experience, this barely matters. Yes, Ryuji's current persona, Captain Kid, does like specialize in defensive magic. But this is really only for early game. Later on, once you get everybody sub personas, they can all just kind of do everything. So it gets kind of crazy. But we have a good mix of support and magic characters. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> sorry, Yusuke. Akira, I'm sorry about the table. It's it's okay. It's uh, gosh. All right. I feel bad, but you know. Who knows what party formations we're gonna start in the future. But now that we got all that done, to the second floor, we go. Or avenue, whatever. Mm. As you can see, I've already drawn the map. Um, I'm not 100% sure on all my tile placements, but maybe they'll be okay. Be careful in there, guys. I start navigating as hard as I can. What does that even mean? The movie though, it's seriously depressing no matter where I look. We even make something like this. Plot's all effed up. That Kamoshida wannabe gets treated like a hero? Plus the enemies here ain't even shadows we've seen before. Seriously, this the heck is going on? <laughs> well, get, what's your language, Ryuji? All right, um, all we gotta do is beat him. It's as easy as that. This is not more difficult. Dude, you sound like a real meathead sometimes, you know that? Well, uh, gosh. He's not wrong, though. Then again, I guess fighting's all we can do right now. And like, I'm gonna complain about that. Yeah. Yes. This is not an occasion for panic. Let's all attempt to remain calm. It's true there's a lot we don't know about the world. However, what we must do is quite clear. Right. First, we need to explore the movie and find Kamoshida Man and kill him. I mean, beat him up. Uh, after all, we don't know if what's gonna harm Queen or Noir. Yeah. Seriously. He may or may not be the real guy, but just looking like Kamoshida is enough to worry me. <laughs> Let's go. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. I thought you got benched, Yusuke. Oh, yes, I'll be leaving. Uh, <laughs> you don't actually bench any of your party members, so to speak, but, uh... Oh, don't! That thing's the wrong color! I need to fix that. Um, my 3DS screen is actually broken, so I can only tell when I'm recording what colors things are. So sometimes they're gonna be off. I'm sorry. Ain't nobody perfect. That's just the name of the game when you've had your 3DS for... Gosh, how long has it been? I don't even remember, but... Oh no, another tutorial! What is that?! It looks like something shiny? Um... That's a rather beautiful glimmer. I wish to observe it closer. Is, is that safe? It could be a trap! I do not care! <laughs> the more I look at it, the more mysterious its shine becomes. Could such an aura be replicated with paint? Uh, he ain't listening. Oh my god, uh... Fox is useless once it gets like that. Just ignore what he says. More importantly, it looks like there's something unusual there. Check it out, Joker. Okay, I was gonna do it anyway. So, uh, I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. This is called a treasure spot, or a collection point. It differs from game to game. And it's basically how you get money. The beauty. It's even more captivating when looking at it closely. <sighs> Come on, let's check it out. Yeah, I can understand getting worked up over this. It's not like the enemies will just disappear while we're looking at it. We better be careful. True, so there's a risk and reward situation here when collecting from the treasure spots or whatever this game decided to call them. Uh, you can check, or you can search cautiously or thoroughly, if I recall, yeah, okay. I had to make sure the terminology was right. Some of them reset when I'm exiting uh, Labyrinth, though, so they'll kind of reset. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. The more rare ones don't, but I'm sensing treasure here. <gasps> Should we take a look? Yeah, I'm surprised you're not freaking out like Yusuke. I thought you loved treasure, but uh, yeah, let's search it thoroughly. All right, bring on the rare items. So you press the A button. Yeah, we got five items. If you check cautiously, you can get up to four, but it's mostly all random. What could this be? Hmm, 
I can't get a good reading from where I am. There we go. No idea. It's a mystery. <laughs> well, I know. Hey, animal knows are useful for this kind of stuff. Mona, can't you tell what it is by smelling it? I am a human, not some police dog. Even still, it does have a pretty shine to it. Reminds me of treasure. Uh -huh. Treasure. Then, for our own convenience, why don't we call this a treasure spot? I like that idea. It's possible that they provide highly lucrative goods. Ah, sounds good to me. <laughs> Makes it easier to understand for all of us. Yeah, no kidding. So that shine disappears. <laughs> Let's gather things from it. No! Such transience has a pleasing quality to it. Okay, Yusuke, we get it. Anyway, you should check places that have a shining light. Keep your eyes peeled, Joker. Okay, I was gonna do that anyways, so. <laughs> yeah. When you come to them, just check them out. And eventually, we're gonna unlock uh, sub personas for our navigators, which enhance the ability to search for those. But, uh, more on that later. Uh, huh? Eh, what up? L look up there. あいつは平和の正義を愛する鴨シティの職人お知らせだ。私に立てつきこの町の平和を脅かす族を捕まえたぞ。おお、かっこいい。鴨シダマンが絶対。鴨シダマンにしたらは。くい、ノアル。だが
it is really tough to get past the second floor without those skills. Okay, we dodged everything. Awesome. Not impossible. That's the thing. When we get sub-personas, our access to different amounts of skills are going to vary a whole lot. So that's one thing to keep in mind. He's laughing at me. He saw last episode, I'm a table. I am a mortal. Oh, yeah? Guess what? You ain't. Now you're getting that all out of tech. Ugh. Man. I love Morgana, like, a lot. I know, like, not the most popular character. And, you know, fair enough. But, like, man, he does... He gets hated on a lot. It makes me kind of upset. But, you know, I understand why also. Man, we really didn't get the, uh, the finish. What a pain. Oh, well, we should be able to do it this turn. Um, I'm gonna start, like, abridging a lot of fights, by the way. Uh... Early on, you really don't see a lot of shadows, but there are ones in this game which I do want to highlight because they are an archetype that is very difficult to take down if your only experience with Persona is past games. So, I'm looking out for y'all and myself, but we did end the fight with an all-out attack, so we got the multiplier, and Pixie will level up, meaning we have Dia. So now Joker can heal, which is something he couldn't do with Arsene. Pretty nifty, and wow, our... Inventory is actually kind of high already. What the? Oh, gosh, I can, I cannot imagine what is going through uh, On's mind right now. That, that sucks. Anyways, let's try searching here again. Looks like we got everything. So even though we searched thoroughly, we didn't get any uh, rares, which is okay. It's not a big deal. But we open up a shortcut. We're going through. I'm. Gonna try my hardest to just not say that every time because they are a lot of shortcuts. They are basically wait. Oh my gosh, is that what I think it is? Jeez, that's kind of dark. But a uh, ton of shortcuts in this game. It is literally just like a part of the game. You gotta get them or you're gonna be screwed. But whew, looks like we managed to make some progress. So I'm go looking down on the Phantom Thieves. I don't wear well that easily. I don't know about that. Uh. Please dial back the testosterone. <laughs> Just look at him starting to tire me out. Gosh. Are you all right, Panther? Sheesh. Why'd you have to go and get her upset like that? Uh, 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 that's BS! <laughs> Shh. Something or someone's coming. Let's hide until they pass by. Eh, what's he even talking about? I hear the voices of nearby citizens. Oh. Did you hear? Seems like yet another criminal slipped into the city. Besides those the What? That's so scary. What kind of criminal? I don't know the details. Well, if they're defying Kamoshida Man, they gotta be criminals, right? That's what Kamoshida Man's saying. So I guess they have to be. I mean, if I said I didn't think so, I'd just be painting a target on my own back. Oh, wow. True. Pretty sure everyone else feels the same way. What the crud? That's awful. The chatting voices grow fainter and trail off. They're gone. Dude, what the heck? You get called a criminal just because Kamoshida Man said so? They, they were all behind this punishment thing, but they're not even thinking for themselves. What Kamoshida Man is saying, everyone feels the same way. It seems as if they've just going along with whatever those around them are doing. More importantly, it's clear that Kamoshida Man's not like the real Kamoshida. It doesn't seem like those two people were exactly super fans of him either. Yeah, it seems to me like they're just supporting because he's in position of power. Some kind of hero he is. Might as well be the Emperor who paraded around in his new clothes. Uh, <laughs> the Emperor's new guru, got it. They mentioned something else that I find curious. Do you remember how they said someone else slipped into the city besides ourselves? Who could that be? Uh, they didn't seem to be talking about Queen of Noir. Well, whoever they are. We just gotta keep moving on, right, Joker? Yeah, 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 whatever. I wasn't even paying attention. Let's get to it. <laughs> yeah, I'm really worried about those two. Let's hurry up and find them. Yeah, let's blast our way out of here. Uh, hey, don't go rushing off by yourself. And again, I guess all his energy is doing the heavy lifting for us. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of useful early game. <laughs> we ought to fall behind him then. Let's move. Right, so, uh... Yeah, just a little heads up. You got some FOEs ahead of you, indicated by the red uh, line. I should probably show you the full map. I don't think I've done that this episode. Yeah, this place is pretty much super big. And is the chicken guy gonna... Oh, man. If we actually went ahead, chicken dude, whatever his actual name is, would start a battle with us. And we are still way too weak to handle that crap. But we're gonna do a little dance here. All right, and we're past him. 
It's as easy as that. We are uh, making quick work of this place, actually. I'm kind of happy with that. I'm trying to... Ma Real talk, guys. I like, <laughs> I haven't lost sleep, but I put a lot of energy into making sure these episodes are, like, interesting. Because I know, like, uh, what's it called? 2D Junior Crawlers are not for everybody. And I want to not necessarily make them for everybody. Wait, are we going to start a fight? Okay, we didn't. Okay, right, gosh, that was really risky. I wasn't paying attention to the thing in the bottom right-hand corner, but, uh... Yeah, no. I just want to make uh, the most entertaining videos I can. And do I really want to fight these guys? Uh, no, I do not. So we're going to actually try to escape. Uh, oh, what the crud? Morgana got one shot. No way. O okay. Wow. Um, this sucks. Is that say he, he, he here is a god? What? <laughs> okay. So Morgana's down. That is no good. Um, when's our next shortcut available? It's actually right up there. So I could use my go home, which I actually probably will do. Actually, if we get this, we run the risk of getting ambushed. So I'm going to be on the safe side and not do that. We're going to open up this shortcut. We're going to use our go home. And then we're going to purchase another go home from the shop. That's just a good like thing to do you could just like walk all the way back but i am lazy and we desperately need morgana so this is sort of the repetition that you're gonna expect from pq which i kind of like it's a fun game to just kind of like chip away at every so often but yeah go home super cheap i'm gonna get like three for right now because i might need to buy some more healing items and with that we're done back to the labyrinth we go it's nice and easy and the load times a lot better Gosh, I'm happy about that. I do think um, this one, though, is kind of... It has to be a little lengthy. You notice you can't actually skip this cutscene, or at least I haven't been able to. I don't know. Maybe press select. My select key's not working so hot, because, like I said before, this 3DS is really ancient, but I love it ever so much. I have, like, a couple 3DSs, actually. I have actually... The one I was so excited to get was for PQ, the original all persona themed i love it i play it all the time but this is my, like my business one so to speak but stop i'm getting another shadow reading from beyond the door are you ready to fight uh i guess i mean why wouldn't we be i think we're fine yeah time to show off my powers wait didn't you just die yes yeah, shut up we all make mistakes gosh so here's another scripted event here come the shadows get ready joker i'm on it let's go and yeah, I kind of know everybody's weakness, so we're going to be fine, because we got Morgana by our side. So, uh, here we go. The battle starts. These guys just keep on coming. Don't worry, Skull. That, uh, there's going to be a lot of random encounters, but I got news. Eh, good news? What? I've got a pretty good handle on how to provide backup and use personas while we're here. From here on, I'll be helping out too. Yes, he will. Having you over support will be a big help. Yeah, we can't wait to see what you can do, Oracle. Just leave it to me. Hope you're excited. Oh, yeah, I am. So, Futaba joins the battle in the form of her support skills. Basically, support skills are used by building up the party meter. And certain skills cost a certain amount of party meter. Every time you attack a, like a shadow or get hit or hit an enemy's weakness, get an all-attack, it's going to build up the party meter. So, just for... um tutorial purposes let's see mini recovery a fantastic one to start things out with we already know the weakness of this shadow so let's go ahead and do that line guard once again because that is just what ryuji excels at now we have this selfish basalt in the way back you notice they all sort of have the magician mask right here but this guy is weak to garu skills so we're going to do that we're going to do that on him and if i recall correctly this should be a perfect turn meaning we hit every single person's or all the shadows weaknesses and we get an all-out attack and chances are unless they one shot morgana again or put us to sleep okay they didn't um we're gonna get an all attack it's gonna be great we're gonna be good to go so yeah, that's pretty much the name of the game. Um, if you don't know the enemy's weaknesses, though, things can get a little tricky. So you gotta keep that in mind. But as long as you keep using the boost state and constantly, or not constantly, but con consistently, that's what PQ is all about. Consistency. And I am gonna consistently miss that table enemy. Now they did Tsukukaja, but never mind. I guess I didn't. Let's get the all-out attack and end this. Hopefully, cross your fingers. 
All that attack damage is scaled off your level, and my levels aren't that great right now. Okay, well, well nah, never mind. We're actually doing fine. We're just gonna soak up that damage like it's nothing. And at the end of the turn, Oracle will heal us up. How about that? And uh, yeah, now we're just gonna repeat the same thing. Same exact turn. Once you kind of have your like initial party set up in the early game, Everything's just kind of autopilot, which is kind of nice. I'm not gonna lie, but oh boy, we got a fight in this episode. I'm not ready for it, and uh, I could grind up, but I sort of want to give myself a little bit of a challenge to see if I can beat it with uh, not a lot of leveling up. But uh, you know, I don't want to grind too much in this playthrough. But sadly, I'm gonna kind of have to. But that's just because I need to build up a repertoire of sub personas. And oh, another one. Okay, I'll take that exp. Don't mind if I do, but. Man, I just, I'm still like theory crafting on future stuff. And man, that has to be some of my like favorite parts of playing Atlas games, especially on this channel, is just finding the OP strategies and teaching them all to you guys. So I'm still looking though, but we're gonna get some new skills for our main personas here. Not too bad. Ooh, Refresh, which is a new skill for Robin Hood. Very, very helpful. I like how they made a catchy sort of the healer this time instead of him just spamming Megaton Raid like I did in my playthrough of the Manila P5, but okay. Looks like the coast is clear. You guys seem to be getting back in the groove of things compared to when this all started. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm getting some of my movement back. Let's keep this up and hurry and get Noir and Queen. Will do, and I'm gonna try and speed through the rest of this labyrinth, because now it is kind of straightforward, actually. Permitted I don't run into too many random battles, but now we are pretty much at the we're pretty much at the end, come to think of it, but not yet, actually. Wait, uh, eh, what do you want? <sighs> we don't hurry up. Look over there. Eh, what is it? Oh, lights. I forgot. I was wondering why there were yellow donuts on my bottom screen. <laughs> uh, you mean those lights, huh? What are those things doing here? They're most likely searchlights. Uh, seriously? They may be for spotting us. Or well, they could be using them to keep a close watch on all the citizens. All for the sake of not letting this evil they speak of escape. Ugh, talk about being effing disgusting. Ugh, makes me want to destroy the things. I get you. Be cautious. It'd be real hassle if you get caught by an enemy. Make sure to avoid the searchlights while proceeding, okay? Gotcha. Or we could just go turn them off, literally right over here. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? It appears to be a switch of sorts. Nintendo? No, not the, uh. What say you, Joker? Should we try pressing it? Yeah, turn the crap off. I don't want to see that crap. Eh. All right, don't mind if I do. Hey, are you sure that's safe? What if it turns out to be a trap? True. Why not have Oracle look into it? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm on it. Leave it to me. Uh, what's this? Hey guys, the switches connect to the searchlights. You turn off the power, be good to go. Try it. Well, how about that? I would just press it automatically. Ah, <laughs> oh, we did it! The searchlights are off! Well, that was a useful function. But we do find another one of these. I likely want to check it out. Yeah, so if we stepped on those searchlights before, if we're trying to, like, fill up the 100% for the, uh, you know, labyrinth, it would automatically start a battle, and the enemy would get a preemptive attack. And that's no good! So we, uh... Well, hello there. Uh, we definitely do not want that. Uh, we also don't want to fight the chicken dudes. They suck, so we're gonna just maneuver around them, like so, and we're pretty much done. Turn this switch off, and now we could go over there if we so desired, but I'll be fine. I'm also gonna, like, be a lot better and not pick up every single collection point. So I was watching my PQ, like, vanilla playthrough, and wow, I just did that every single time. Kind of annoying. So I'll probably be doing that in between episodes, but... Uh, that was exhausting. How much surveillance do they really need? We, we turn off two lamps, what? You have a point. They should be conserving electricity. Such utility costs should never be taken lightly. <laughs> In fact, the fear I felt when I saw my last month's electric bill. <laughs> oh, gosh, jeez. That's nothing to do with this, what? Then again, evading the searchlights was indeed fun. It's one of the pleasures of being a phantom thief. Worked out since we managed to slip past him. Who knows what could happen if we got busted. Well, good job, folks. By the way, I took a look around. It seems like there aren't any more searchlights. In this area, at least. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's a lot more coming up. Don't you worry. Means there's more in the next area. Yeah! And this is for Queen and Norsake Skull. Show some guts! Okay, come on! 
Let's get ourselves psyched up and keep on moving. I don't wanna. Okay, so realistically, um, I still don't have a sub persona for a catchy, and I really want to get that. So I might take a little bit of a break here to uh, not only go back, but maybe try and get one of those. Are there going to be any new shadows here? Probably. Oh, there he is. So this uh, dude in the back, the Heat Balance. You might recognize him from the older Persona games. Uh, I don't want to deal with that crap, so I'm going to try and put him to sleep. So unlike in other Persona... Wait, no, no, no. no. I don't want to do that. I changed my mind. Let's, um... Let's try single shot and just like knock him out instantly. Um, status effects in Etrian Odyssey games are um fantastic. You always want to be using them as often as you can. There is a diminishing returns effect, which means if you continue to use the same status effect on an opponent, it's not going to keep working or having the same effectiveness. So you got to keep that in mind. But with that being said, Poison and sleep in your early game are phenomenal. They are just gonna save your butt and make your life a whole lot easier. So you definitely wanna use them if you can. Oh my God, we all getting that boost, baby. Boost mobile, we suck. <laughs> Probably their motto last time I checked. I don't know, I've never, never used them. I got nothing against them. I just remember back when I was a kid though, they were on like every ad ever and it sucked, but anyways. And just like that, we're done. We didn't finish one all attack, but eh, that's still some good EXP. So Pixie's maybe gonna learn a new skill, and in fact, she did. Sick. So now we have access to a lot of skills on Joker, but I kind of want to diversify our portfolio, if you get me. And now that we have this last shortcut, we're pretty much good to go. Like we're super duper safe. We explored pretty much the entire second avenue rather quickly might i add but now it's time to go home heal up and try and get another sub persona and also save i really need to do that wow oh <gasps> yes we got one finally gosh i don't know why i said finally that was one battle but who'd we get is it somebody uh... Not bad, Anzu, I'll take it, uh, of the Emperor Arcana. Not who I was looking for, but definitely a worthwhile sub-persona to have. I'm probably going to give that to Akechi. Mm, who else could benefit from it? Realistically, it doesn't matter. I wanted to get a uh, persona or a sub-persona with poison, but there's only one on this floor, and honestly, I think we can get by with just one sub-persona, so I kind of want to test that out, but here you go, Akechi. Ain't gonna be doing a lot in the next fight anyways, but uh, now that we've done that, I think I'm gonna return to base again, save up, and maybe purchase some extra healing items. Nah, we'll be gone the healing items, but definitely save because there's a pseudo boss fight coming up. But I'm gonna meet you guys right back in this little section in the labyrinth, so be right back. And okay, we're back and ready to head down to the third floor of Kamoshida Man Avenue or whatever it's called, I don't know. Now be warned, there is a strong shadow waiting for you at the bottom of these stairs. So if you're not level five or in that area, grind up a little bit, take some time, take a breather, you know, you've been doing a good job. You need to take a little minute to prepare, but I'm gonna YOLO it, so let's see what happens. What's it called, Joker? We doing this? Yeah, let's do it. Might as well. Yeah. Time to give him a uh, heck? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to not be that profane, but here we are, the third avenue. We're actually making pretty good progress. And if you're this far, pat yourself on the back, because this quote ain't easy. Okay, bring it on! Wait, what? Uh, there's nothing here. Something's not right. Do you think it's a little too quiet? Uh-oh. What the crud is that? It's a popo! Ah! And we're just sitting here, not reacting at all. Whoa, enemies! Uh, but they're not after us. What's this reading, though? Hey, look over there. It's a cutscene.
Oh, I'm sorry. I can't. I, I can't hold back. I'm. I'm fanboying so hard. Whoa, who's that girl? She's getting attacked by shadows. Is that a persona? Who could she be? Maybe she's the girl Theodore mentioned to us. Oh my gosh, you're right. If I recall correctly, he's looking for a high schooler. A female who wears headphones. Oh my word, what is this music? It's marvelous. Oh, all the details he provided us match up. You're right. In that case, let's help her out. Come on, everyone. On it. Let's go. Gosh, this battle theme is so sick. Here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm just... I do not even know where to start, but she's finally here. Hamuko, or you know, whatever you call her. Wow, reinforcements? They look strong, too. Uh, heck no! We ain't your enemy! You're friends with Theodore, right? Uh, you know Theo? We'll explain later. Let's go, Joker! Alright, let's fight the bribed fuzz and his tank! They are not playing around here! So, here's the deal. This tank currently has no weakness, and that is very scary in the Persona series, so we're gonna try and pacify it with Dormina, which puts the enemy to sleep, if it actually hits. This tank can also attack two times, so yeah, uh, we just straight up do not want to fight it. Um, instead, we're gonna focus down the Bribe Fuzz first, and we can do that best with our fire skills, and really, what is, what does Crow do here? I guess Kauha, I mean, better than nothing, but if we can get the sleep off, we're golden. If we can't, we're dead. It's as simple as that. Okay, that did 20. That's not looking great. Um, I'm gonna wait till after the cop has been defeated. Oh, single shot! No! Gosh, that did so much damage. But luckily, um, we got Dormina, and it connected! Yes! Okay, we this fight, it went from kind of rough to we might be able to do this, which is I'm very cool with. So, fire attacks and blessed damage are both the weaknesses of this enemy, and oh, Fox! Descends! Get him, Yusuke! But don't, don't hit, don't hit the tank, please don't. He hit the tank. Oh boy. All right, that's fine. Whatever. All that attack. We're gonna get some damage in, but that's 100% gonna wake up the Scarlet Tank, which is not the best scenario, but we'll get by. Yo, it's just near. Does it feel like our attacks ain't doing nothing? The shadow. It does. Something seems off about his data too. Ah! If regular attacks won't work, perhaps we should go about this another way? Oh, that's a pretty good idea coming from you, Inari. I'll keep analyzing it, so make sure to try different stuff like status ailments too. I tried to! Ugh! Maybe I shouldn't have done it on the first turn, but now hitting this dude with uh, another Dormina, probably not gonna happen. But I'm gonna try anyways, because there's like a 50-50, you never know. Either it'll happen or it won't. But uh, we just gotta keep spamming our... um. Actually, should I do that or not? Maybe I should lucky punch the tank. It's a low accuracy though. But if we get the crit, that's another all about attack. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be a little bit risky. We have the free Aggie, and I didn't mention this before. Mostly because I forgot. But um if you use a boost attack, you do have higher priority. I don't know like the exact math on it, but it's pretty darn nice. So I'm gonna actually use Sukukaja on um Skull here. Because since he's sort of our tank, we want him to be evading and also soaking up damage. So the tank is most likely going to go for Ryuji already. So if he can intercept that attack and then dodge it, he's good. Unless Lion Guard prevents him from dodging, which I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. What the? You're supposed to hit Ryuji. What are you doing? Gosh, we didn't get the crit. Darn it. Okay, that's fine. Now, do we get Dormina? No, we didn't. Okay, we're, screw it. We're just going on the sheer offense. Uh, okay, that did five damage, though. That's fine. And we have four more turns of line guard from Ryuji. I know I'm, like, really freaking out. And this fight might not be that hard to you, but I think it's kind of difficult, so screw it. Um, I can't recall if Arsene does higher damage with um physical or magic, but we have a little bit of HP lying around. So I think I'm just going to continue to use Dream Needle, try and get this guy uh, pacified. Um, how are we doing on healing? We're actually okay, so I'm gonna keep spamming Lucky Punch. And no matter what we do, it's not gonna be very effective. We just gotta keep getting in there with that damage. Once the enemy gets down to half HP, though, the fight will change. And that'll be our chance to kind of get in there. But trust me, this fight is legitimately difficult. The power, like, the difficulty spike is kind of crazy in this game, but I like that. So, Dream Needle, it will hit, but <gasps> we got it! Yes! I'm getting so lucky. I love it. Twin Slash will connect, because you can't dodge. Win! You're pacified, but, uh, 
it's still only 20. Actually, now it's 44 damage. Not the best, but we're getting by. We're gonna get the heal from Futaba. Everything's looking good. And we just gotta keep up the assault. I'm like sweating bullets here. So I wanna try and get through this whole game without ever dying. Will that happen? Dunno. But hey, I'll try my best. <laughs> Let's, um, pretty much just. I I'm gonna actually use our, um,. Magic for the most part because as you know physical attacks eat up our HP and we don't want that We want to like definitely survive the fight Morgana. Did you even hit the opponent? Ooh, that's that Sukasha. I told you so I coming out. How much damage is that gonna do? 27 we can do better than that. Come on. Hopefully uh, Robin Hood will help us out. Gosh the animation on the spell looks so good on 3ds. I love it like legitimately impressive given the hardware, but uh Man still nothing we're ugh. This is what I meant by, in PQ, it's not about the boss fights. Trust me, the boss fights are tough. But sometimes, like, the tiny encounters that you have on the way to the boss fights can be the even more difficult fights. And that's definitely an issue here, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. But it's still legitimately difficult. We want to conserve SP on Morgana, but we are building up the uh, party gauge a little bit. Wait, is it called the party gauge? I think that's in Xenoblade. I think I might mix up my terminology. Too many video games, not enough time. Please just die. Yes, there we go. Wait, what? Hey, it didn't die at all. Look, the shadow changed color. What the crud? I believe I saw something shudder around it as well. I got it. it. Looks like that one was protected by a resistance barrier until now. A barrier? Oh my God, that sounds terrible. No wonder it felt like our attacks weren't doing much. Seems the barrier can be destroyed if it's damaged enough. That would mean now's our opportunity. Let's go all out. Right, so affinity barriers are something to make normal enemies even stronger. They are basically resistant to everything and their true weakness will not be revealed. It sucks. Oh my god, also that does too. Okay, not looking hot, but it's about to change real fast. 46 damage come from the Aggie. I'll take it. Sukukaj is off, but that's totally fine. It. Well, we dodged one attack with it, which I guess is okay. So, actually, no, I'm going to use uh, a single shot. Now that's defenses are lowered. The line guard, and I believe Garu should be doing pretty good damage. If not, make it weak. I'm not sure, but pretty much just keep spamming all of your spells. No reason not to. It's a pain that this tank attacks twice, though, but Ryuji don't even care. He's like, huh, did you guys feel something? I sure didn't, but okay. There we go. This is why you want Morgana on your team. All out attack. We out of here! Easy! Gosh, oh, never mind, that did nothing. Crap. I'm just so used to... Oh! I didn't even know it could do that. I'm in danger. Oh my gosh. All right. Uh, Things are gonna get difficult if we... Well, we're running really low on SP, actually, because not everyone has a sub-persona, but... Uh, we might be okay. Maybe. Oh, yeah, we can totally finish it off. I, I'm not going to auto, though, because I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> like, really scared. So we're going to do one of these, one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another. Sigaru, is it going to be resisted or just normal damage? I think it's just normal damage, but I guess we'll see. And this should be the last attack we need. There we go. Whew. Now, everybody got equal EXP, which is what I wanted. And Pixie will level up again. So now Joker has access to all of her skills, which means basically get rid of Pixie and fuse her away, which will come very soon. But yeah, hi there. <laughs> I'm saved. Thanks. Oh my gosh, I'm so nostalgic. This music, I can't. Hey, could you be Persona users too? Uh, y yeah, looks like the same goes for you, huh? To think there are additional Persona users here. I sense a mysterious fate linking us. I was surprised too. You have such elaborate masks on that I thought you were more enemies at first. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, I guess these do look pretty weird from other people's perspectives. <laughs> no, they are stylish and you look amazing, Panther. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, I agree. Wait, what? I think they're full of personality. No, yeah. So about something you said a moment ago. You know Theo? Uh, that's right. Although we've only met him quite recently. So we don't know him well, per se. Well, me either, really, but <laughs> I'm glad Theo's safe. He suddenly got separated, so I'd grown worried about him. Likewise, he seemed worried about you. I hope you'll be reunited with him soon. Thanks. Oh, yeah! I haven't introduced myself yet! My name is... 
usually debated upon heavily. So Minako, Hamuko, Tomato, Tomata. I decided for this playthrough, we're gonna be calling her Hamuko since that's what I called her when I first played P3P. And uh, Arisato really isn't gonna fit, so I'm gonna have to try my best. But uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna call the P3 protagonist. It's nice to meet you all. Some sort of fate must have led our paths across. It's a pleasure meeting you as well. So, um, there's something I've been curious about since I first saw you all. It's not just your mask, but all of your outfits. They kind of make me think of Phantom Thieves. <gasps> oh, oh, oh crap, this is bad! Did you figure us out? What? what? Uh, who you are? What? Skull, you moron! Stop digging our graves! This isn't good. How should we explain our attire? Uh, we're cosplaying those, uh, Lupin the Fourth characters? You know, y yeah. <laughs> oh no, I think I picked, uh, uniforms. So your jobs are to cosplay as Phantom Thieves? <gasps> You're all thieves that were hired to cosplay? That's so cool! Yeah, don't think too much about it. <laughs> Phantom Thieves are big right now, so we kind of just went with the flow or some crap. I'm not good at this. Uh, don't call, uh, don't call our cover crap! Oh, really? I don't totally get it, but that sounds fun. It sure is. Could you possibly be unaware of the Phantom Thieves? Uh, what? N no way, it's been all over the news and the internet every day lately. You really haven't heard of us? The Phantom Thieves of Heart were kind of cool. Sorry, no clue. <laughs> I watch the news pretty regularly, too. Weird. Oh, she really doesn't know. Maybe the Phantom Thieves aren't nationally famous yet? The news can differ based on prefecture. But even still, we'll... Doesn't this only work to our convenience? Yeah, he's right. I believe that we should prioritize escaping from here at the moment anyway. All right. Those citizens we hid from were likely referencing her when they were talking about another criminal. If that's the case, we ought to chat any longer here. We should go back to the theater where it's safer. I agree. A theater? Sorry, but I have no idea where one is around here. <laughs> Not like that. Looks like we know more than she does of what's going on around here. Whoa, the cat talked! Oh my gosh! I'm not a cat! What the- And now you're reacting to this? We were fighting next to each other just a second ago. You saw me! I was doing great! What? Oh yeah, you blew up that tank with wind. That was cool. Um, so he's a Persona user too, I'm guessing? Yeah. He's also a precious little meow wow. We love him to death, except for you, Jesus. But... Heck no! I don't care how adorable you make it sound, just no! <sighs> now I'm exhausted. Where's my popcorn? <laughs> that may be the case with Morgana, but... Shouldn't we explain ourselves as well? We're all Persona users. I'm certain she'd understand our circumstances. Yeah. But let's get out of the movie first. I don't want to be here and get into another random encounter. We can talk about it while we return to the theater. I agree. We should reunite with her with Theodore as soon as possible. If you can take me to Theo, then please, let me join you. With pleasure. And it's decided! Let's go back to the theater! <laughs>